Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes, today is not a blue shirt day. Hallelujah, thank the Lord. And we're gonna get ready. All I have to do today is run some errands. Um, I'm off today and tomorrow, so tomorrow I can do laundry and all that kind of good stuff around the house. Um, I do have on a little foundation, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I am using the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind. You guys know I don't use this one with a foundation. Or with a foundation, Shannon. <laughs> with a primer. But I do have a little bit of a breakout going right there. And I'm just going to put a little more around the eyes. That's where I have um, like the most discoloration. So we'll just tap a little bit more out there. And then there where that blemish was. And I think we're okay. And for concealer, I am trying to use up certain things. I'm just grabbing that NYX. <gasps> My cap came off. Look at that. Look, look, look. Can you say super glue? She still works. So then just a little concealer. This is peachy. Even though it says light. Um, it is very peachy. I don't know if you, yeah, you can tell that. Um, it's very peachy on the skin, so it's really good for covering up those dark circles. My husband and I are still talking about uh, going on keto, and um, we pretty much decided just we're going to do it. <laughs> He has been watching videos on YouTube about it, um, and it was funny because I called him on his lunch break, and he's like, I'm watching this video, and what was funny was I was watching the same video, but I paused it to call him because, you know, his break was at a certain time, and I was waiting for that time. He was watching the same exact video I was, which is hilarious. I didn't tell him that, though, but it, it was funny. I'm like, yeah, I think I saw that one in the list. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, this is so funny. Um, I'm going to grab that Clinique little deluxe sample I'm trying to use up. I'm trying to use things up. You know, it's not always new, 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 new. You need to use up what you have or you're going to get overwhelmed with so many products. And that's why we end up decluttering. Because we have stuff we didn't use, stuff we didn't like. And I've already done my declutter. So I'm trying to use up the things that I do like. And I've not bought a lot. Uh, as you've noticed in the last couple months, um, my makeup storage is pretty full. And I did buy another little um, storage unit over here. And I need to clean all this up so I can do a little video of it. So you guys can see what it looks like. But it's just a little rolly, like a little rolly cart with four plastic drawers and like a little metal frame. They sell them at Ross Dress for Less, probably TJ Maxx, Marshalls, any of those kind of stores. But yeah, and it was, I think I got it for right around $29 or somewhere around in there because it was missing the top knob. So it was discounted for it missing the knob and I just went to Hobby Lobby and bought a real pretty little pink glass knob and put on it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to get... Actually, I'm not going to use that one. I've been using that one a lot. I'm going to grab one of my e.l.f. duos in here. Which one did I grab? Soft and Subtle. That's this one. And I'm trying not to shake that drawer too much because I know it shakes you. I'm going to grab my number two brush out of my BH Cosmetics set. BH. And I'm just going to take the bronzer... Side and do the thing, do that thing that we all do. Might take it down a little bit lower today. Um, you know, face powder makes my face itch, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna try this blush again. I don't know this this right here. To me, it just It's like I can see something there, but it's not like blush blush. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm gonna leave it. We're not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna leave it. Um, all right, so there's blush and there's bronzer. It's like you can see it, but it's not. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm gonna grab eye primer, which is another thing I'm trying to use up. There is just a teeny tiny a bit, bit, a bit. Just there's just a bit left in this container, but I'm st it's still coming out of there, so I'm still using it. I hit pan yesterday. That's exciting when you hit pan. I'll show you what I hit pan on. That matte powder from Shop Miss A. And guys, I noticed on the last video, the lights are still kind of doing its thing. I don't know why it does that because the only lights I have on is my overhead light and then the fan's on because I burn up. My ring light is over there, but it's pretty far away. And then I have this light here, which is my mirror. I have one background light back there to add light to my backdrop, my background. So I have no idea why the light is doing its doing its thing. I don't know. But I barely can you see it right there? Yeah, right there. I hit pan. I'm gonna go around the outside edge here. Pick up a little powder. And just set that primer. I bought this and I didn't really like how it looked on my face um, but I only used it once maybe I need to try it again on my face so I said I'm just gonna use it to set my eye primer and that's what I've been doing and I've already hit pan so good deal Shannon good job all right and we have this Perfusion Sultry Palette. This is from the wonderful Susan from Susie's Makeup Tool Cart. If you not checked out her channel, check out her channel. She gets her hands on everything. It's amazing to me. She she gets like all the new stuff that's coming out. She re reviews it. She does um, tutorials with it. Ah, oh, it's amazing. But here, and of course, this is upside down. It did come with a brush, and I put that down in my drawer. So you got a lot of colors here to play with, and I want to stay kind of neutral. I am wearing kind of a peachy shade, you know. I wear, I wear a lot of peach colors. Um, I'm gonna take Kenny, which is this one up here in the corner. Just go ahead and tuck that up at the brow bone. You guys, know I don't highlight my brow a lot, so we'll go ahead and do that. And this green is really pretty. These greens, oh, the purples, they're all very pretty. I'm going to come in with Wonder, which is this kind of a reddish brick color. I don't know. They're not overly, like, kick-up-y looking. Definitely have some pigment going. I'm going very light-handed. I'm just barely letting that brush touch the skin. And Wow. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Susan. That is fantastic. I mean, I am just barely kissing the skin with that brush. Because so I didn't know how pigmented they were. That's, that's really good. I'm going to take that brush, clean it off, and just really go back over that edge. You guys know me, I like a very soft, subtle, blended look. And I'm gonna pick up one of my favorites. Actually, I'm gonna grab that big fluffy one from the BoxyCharm, the purple one from, I believe it was last month. And I'm actually gonna come in with, ah, oh, should I do purple with peach? Hmm. I don't know, this one called Strong out here is very pretty too. It's got some shimmer in it. And guys, I'm not afraid to put shimmer in my crease. I mean, it's just not, no big deal to me. This one has a little bit of shimmer and I'm just barely tucking a little bit in the corner. Wow, and I'm just barely tapping into that. Using that circular motion I always use 
That is amazing. Let me see. I usually get higher on this eye, as you can see. So we'll bring that color up on this eye to match. It's a little better. I'm going to clean that off, come back into that first color, and just blend over that edge a little bit. All right, I am now going to come in with that number seven, and I'm really going to deepen it up with some of this purple. Oh, I could be messing this up. I'm going to mix the shimmer and the matte together, bewitched and nimble, and really kind of just stay right here. Just kind of back and forth, back and forth in that corner. Wow. All right, I'm going to take that blending brush. And this is from Beastope. I got them on Amazon. They're very affordable. It's blendy, blendy, blend. Not bad. I'm going to take a regular just shadow pack brush and this Ella looks like a duochrome that's very pretty. Um, gleam, snazzy. Oh wow, there's Celestial. Look at this one. I don't even think she touched into that pan. A very light shimmer gold, kind of bronzy gold. Today I am going to pull that up onto the hood just a little. Wow, wow, wow. So pretty. It's really going to pop that right in the center. Anything left? Sweep a little bit under that corner. Pencil brush. I'm just going to take the same colors. I used Wonder. And then Zing. And then I'm going to find my little teeny tiny, little, little teeny tiny, and I'm going to do the, the matte purple under the eye, not the glimmer purple. And I'm going to take the purple, mix it with Nightlife, which is the black. Wow, a lot came off of that. And just do a little at the tail there. Nice, 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 nice. Pencil brush, I'm gonna come up to Celestial. And I might mix it with a little bit of Lit, which I think is a little bit of a lighter shade. Just put that in the corner and drag it up and down. I like that palette. I can't wait to use it again. That is very pretty. And one last time, I'm going to take that brush and just kind of marry everything. And I'm going to take a clean, that's really not the one I want, but I don't know, that little bitty smudgy one from the BoxyCharm. Oh, where are you, you cutie thing? It's just a little bitty smudgy. Ah, is that it? That's it.
It's this one. Came in like the month before. I'm just going to take that and blend under the eye just a little bit more. Just so they all blend together. Nice! Oh, that turned out very pretty. Um, Let's do brows while we're on the eyes. Have no real updates today. Um, did lose another pound and a half. That put me at 30 pounds total. Can I get a thumbs up, people? Can I get a thumbs up for losing 30 pounds? Uh, <laughs> yeah, 30 pounds. So that's why we we're really talking about, um, you know, taking it to the next level and going on this keto. Because I have really not been like dieting i've just cut out a lot of junk food i've cut out a lot of um junky fast food we still eat out but um we get like steak or chicken or fish and like some side veggies or a salad and i mean we do still eat out we eat out a lot but um it's not mcdonald's or hardy's you know what i'm saying um we're making a little bit better choices where we're eating out at. One of our favorite places is a Mexican place right down the road. It's called Micaretas. Um, we eat there. And we like, um, we tried fats. We haven't been to fats in a long time and we have one in Lenore. So we went to fats. That was very good. Um, but yeah, that's, um, I mean, we do eat out, but it's not being like the junky, junky fast food, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm sure it's probably still loaded with calories and fat, but, um, we usually take part of it home. We don't eat it all at one go because, you know, they tell you to divide your food up and, take part of it home which we usually end up doing um but yeah just making a little bit better choices drinking a lot more water that kind of thing and um a lot of times i've just not been that hungry um i just i'm sorry i know i'm shaking that drawer is terrible and actually i'm gonna leave it open just a smidge all right so next up is mascara i'm gonna want use one i've not used in a while this one did come out of the boxy charm. It's the tart tartist tartiest, however you want to say that tartist. And I've not used this one in a while. It's kind of got pushed back. So let's bring it forward and use it. I've got it. Let's use it. I want to get that glob off the end though before I smear it all over myself. I had a yogurt yesterday and it was yo play it was a whipped but it was a greek whipped and it was called vanilla cupcake oh my gosh guys it was so good so good 30 something i believe there was 30 something carbs or 20 something carbs i can't remember now i threw the container away i ate it at work there's like 15 sugars and like 20 or 30 carbs in that one little cup of yogurt. So sad. I just can't. I was like, yes, this is so good. I can eat this. Turn it around. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Look at how much sugar and carbs is in this. But yeah, it was basically eating dessert. I mean, that's what it was. It was a healthy dessert. No, not really. Not when you turn it around and look at the nutritional facts. Yeah, it might not have had any fat, but um, it was loaded with everything else. So we're going to see how this high fat, high healthy fat um, diet goes. I'm kind of excited. Um, all right, what else do we got? Oh, lips. I'm trying to close this drawer. I'm going to grab 
What is this one? The Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. That might be nice with this one or it might be too nude. It's a little nude, but you know what? We're going to put some gloss over top of it. There we go. That's the only lipstick, the actual like lipstick I have by him. I have four of his liquid lipsticks and I really do like those. I'm going to use that e.l.f. Um, Champagne Glam Glit. Oh yeah, girl, we're going. I've only used this like once since I hauled it. Yes, I think, I think that will do. Very pretty. Super glossy. Um, but that is it. That I mean, that's how simple it is to get ready. I can throw a highlight on. Open my highlight drawer. Um, I'm going to grab Physician's Formula. She's sitting right here on top. And wrong brush. Wrong brush, Santa. Wrong brush. And I'm just going to kind of go through the middle, which grabs the pinky and the bronzy shades. Look how pretty that is, and this is like $10-ish, $10 10 to $13, I think, at like the drugstore, but I got mine um, in a set with like another bronzer at, I believe it was Ross, and it was like $10, and you got like two or three things in the pack for $10, and one retails for more than $10, so um, yeah, check check that out at Ross and I think I've seen them at TJ Maxx too in those little sets um, but yeah this look turned out very pretty and it was the profusion sultry palette oh I can't wait to use I want to use that one that looks very duochrome iridescent right there it looks white then it looks kind of blue oh. all right guys that's it I'm gonna go feed a kitty try to catch him uh, take some cardboard to be recycled and whatever else I can get myself into today. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 500 and when we do, we will have a really nice little giveaway. It's not going to be huge, but it, it'll be a really nice thank you to everyone who's been supporting me and you know, commenting and leaving thumbs up and all that fun stuff. But I will see you guys on the next one.